This year marks the end of the Millennium Development Goal. It is to be replaced arguably by a much loftier set of metrics called the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. How the has our country fared and how will we fare? Joining us on Pundits is Assistant Secretary and Head of the Communications Cluster of the Cabinet on Human Development and Poverty Reduction, Ms. Leela Shahani. Leela, thank you for so much for joining us. Hi, Quentin. How are you? Leela, we have these new sets of metrics and arguably they're longer, yes. more detailed. Yes. Is this another layer imposed on us by Foggy Bottom and East River and Manhattan or are these bottom-up indicators that are relevant to a country like the Philippines? Well, I mean, there have been criticisms that the SDGs are very lofty, that they're very general and very amorphous. Um, there, are 100, there are 17 uh, goals and 169 targets. Uh, the International Council of Scientists wrote a very riveting analysis saying that they apply more to uh, Western countries, Scandinavian countries, but they're so general that uh, it's hard for them to apply to Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. So since we are a, mi a developing country that is middle level, yes. um, how we, how we uh, target ourselves will be uh, it, it will be remain to be seen. Now, Lila, let's contextualize this first. We haven't even gotten over performance on the MDGs. Yes. And that's already just eight indicators, right? Yes. My understanding is four out of the eight, we're not doing too well. And we're looking yes. at primary school completion, yes. gender equality, family planning and HIV prevention, and basically having poverty. That hasn't been a great performance record for this administration or even the last administration. What yes. gives? Actually, I should add that maternal mortality is one of the worst MDG. We have 221 deaths per 100,000 live births. So as far as the MDGs are concerned, that's where we really did not do well at all. Um, having poverty uh, was a big problem. Um, you know, uh, neonatal mortality and HIV AIDS, you're absolutely right. Um, as far as uh, maternal mortality is concerned, that's now DOH's big priority. Um, as far as HIV AIDS is concerned, there are attitudinal barriers still um, culturally and because uh, the health, health has been devolved uh, with the local government code, it's, it's devolved into local government units, um, it's difficult to implement uh, 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 the usage of, of, of protection. Um, it's, it's, it's not something that can be mandated from on high, but the having of poverty has not been achieved at all. So yes, um, they were ambitious and, and they were not achieved. Now, Lila, these are lofty goals, but you know I went to university where units of analysis are important. Let's look at the family level. Yes. At the family level, what needs to be done to empower the family, which is basically the backbone of any country? Yes. Um, well, we need the RH law. You I mean, mean, need it funded. You mean. It's yes. been declared constitutional, it's gone through the ringer, but is it a funding issue? Well, I mean, there is funding. There's 1.7 billion pesos that has been earmarked for that. The problem is more in the implementation at the local government level. Again, you know, um, it's not really, it's, it's, there are three provisions that are problematic uh, that had, <clears throat> that had floundered in the Supreme Court. One is that you have to, um, um, if you are a, a woman, yes. your spouse has to allow you to consent. consent. Your parent has to allow you. If you're a child, if you're a minor, your parent has to allow you. And also, if you're a doctor, you you, you have, have a conscience to, clause about. Yes. It, well, you know, there is, it's a, it's a whole slew of issues we're going to talk about. This is just the beginning. Yes. Lila, we hope to have you on the show to get more in depth in terms of where the rubber meets the road and what the next administration can do. Yes. But thank you for joining us. Thank you.